Well, boys and girls, here we are in Turkey. I am the new manager of Ankara Dermispor. I am going to learn to say the name without looking it up. And we are going to apparently probably win the Turkish League, maybe. At the very least, we're going to have a look around and play some matches and figure out what is what. My way of handling the, lang handling the language barrier was deciding how I was going to say things and then never varying from it. So it's Dermispor. There's no sh there's no there's no sh sh it's spore sh not spore spore they'll they'll learn they spell in turkey funny as well that needs fixing <laughs> oh dear right let's have a look at what we've got then shall we i mean it doesn't look disastrous on first inspection we've got some players who don't look awful which is nice he's on loan from igdia who are in the red group. So our best player is on loan from a team in at the same level as us. That seems, I mean, he knows it as well. That seems, why are players earning more money than me? What fresh hell is this? How are we doing for budgets? Right, let's just, we can't put that into the transfer budget. Basically, we're not allowed to spend money. Okay, fair enough. Can we see what formation we've been using? We've been using a 4-2-3-1 DMAM. We did 34 minutes using that and 60 minutes also using that. But we did a 4-4-2 for 34 minutes in that one. But it looks like 4-2-3-1 DMAM is the way to go. Let's get a tactic up and running. When's our first match, by the way? Uh, like four days. Oh. Oh. It's going to be fine. We don't need to worry. It's going to be fine. We were, I mean, we're supposed to be relegated. Oh, no. Right. It's fine. Let's not worry. A route one, four, two, three, one is going to be a joy to behold. Uh, so four, two, three, one. Four, two, three, one. DM AM is what I'm looking for. It's that one, isn't it? So we're going to have three different flavors of this. Just so that we can try different ways of playing football. Uh, there we go. So we've got those three on. What? Do we have any other information? Do the fans give us any clues? No one's really telling me anything about what they want. I mean, we literally just have to win matches. That's all there is to it. Is there a transfer window here? How do we find out that? Someone tell me the rules. Won't somebody explain the rules to me? Where's the league? Where's the rules? What are the rules? Um, oh, Gordon Bennett. So if we finish, we don't need to really worry about getting promoted this season. I'm really worried about if there's, is there a transfer window or can we just start shenanigans immediately? And then is there a rule on like foreign players, loans, a maximum of zero foreign players, maximum of six under 23 players. Oh, sorry. Minimum of six under 23 players developed in the nation for one year between so that's in the squad. So we need six under 23s who are homegrown in Turkey. But we can't have foreign players anyway. So that shouldn't be too hard as long as we've got young players. Maximum of three goalkeepers in the squad. Maximum of two over 23 goalkeepers in the squad. Maximum squad size of 25. Squad registration. So the deadlines are later than they are in England. This guy's earning £75 a week full time. I mean, fair enough. Let's have a look at what our best 11 is. And work out what we're going to do. So pick without restriction. Pick best 11. We've got a number 10 in the number 10 role. That's beautiful. Um, he's Atakan Dama. He's my hero. Oh, he's on loan. But he's been on loan for a year already. Do we do these long-term loan things here? Is that how it works? I mean, it looks like loan central. Let's have a look at the squad planner. Work out what we're going to do. I mean, the squad looks decent. Decent ability throughout, squad depth, looking good. I mean, we don't really have a proper goalkeeper. That's kind of a problem. This guy's the best keeper we've got. Taha Sengis Demirtas. So this is the priority, getting a proper goalkeeper. Um, But we've got, obviously, that guy we've already picked out. He's the best player at the club on loads of money as well. He is a proper left back. We've got loads of centre backs. Loads of DMs. I mean, there's so many players here on loan. 
It looks like there's lots of loans that go on. That American fella would love all this. It's loans, loans, loans. Someone needs to write a song about it. But we haven't really got... So we've not really got a goalkeeper. We've not really got a proper striker. I see why this team might be struggling. Yes, we're going to avoid relegation and we're going to like it. Set pieces. Let's do set pieces. So my thing that I'm kind of leaning towards on set pieces now, he's got so much hair that it... Bearing in mind he's a new gen, but he has so much hair that the graphic cuts his hair off. It doesn't let him have all of his hair. Unless, I mean, I'm assuming that's the picture cutting his hair off. That might be his actual haircut. That might be deliberate. It's difficult to say. I don't know what the Turkish fashion is like. Maybe they all have this in Turkey, and I just don't know about it. Either way, I think it's excellent. Right, back here. I like hybrid... I like to put a man on the near post. I like to be balanced. I like to aim for the near post more often than not. I like balanced on there and I like an in-swinger. This is how exactly how I've got it set up for Tamworth. And you've seen how many goals from corners we score on Tamworth. So this is what we're doing. And then from here, we just add in another one, which is a far post in-swinger. And then we want the, ins the near post to happen more often. Far post, uh, far post in-swinger average. And then the last one we add in, if I'm, a, if I'm at a big club, I add in a short corner. At a small club like this, though, I'm going to add in a near post out-swinger, which we're going to just drop in very occasionally, just so teams don't get used to how we're doing our defending. And then if we preview our first 11 on there to see if we've actually got any proper aerial threats. So this guy is our best aerial threat, apparently, which I can't click on him because clunky, clunky. Um, I can't remember how to do it. You have to turn that off and then go into there, I think, to be able to see him. Um, so he's... I mean, it's not disastrous, is it? Jumping reach of 12, heading of 12. I don't think he's going to be a 15 goal a season set piece threat we don't really have anybody who is going to be but i mean we're going to do all the goals from the set pieces because set pieces are fun we love a set piece right let's do all our normal stuff that we do when we oh my god where are the staff we've got a set piece coach and nothing else we've got a set piece coach we're not allowed and no normal coaches <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't understand i don't understand <laughs> Um, I mean, I guess we make that guy a normal coach, don't we? Can you do... Oh, my word. This guy's probably getting fired. Although he might need to act as my assistant manager in the meantime because we don't have one. Why have we got a set-piece coach, a head... Perf We've got all these jobs. We've got a loan manager, but no assistant manager. Right, let's bin off the guys we don't need. We don't need the set-piece coach. He's done. Can we mutually terminate him? We're on a budget here. Um, we also don't need a recruitment analyst, a technical director, or a loan manager. So let's get rid of them. Why on earth would we have a loan manager? He's got a great moustache. Um, we don't need a technical director. Where's he? You're done. And then what was the other one? A perform was it a head performance analyst we weren't allowed? No, recruitment analyst. We don't need a recruitment analyst. You can leave as well. We we have no scouts. We're allowed no scouts. We have a chief scout and that's it. All of the scouting at this football club is going to be done by this guy. And to be fair, actually, he's not too bad. And he's been at Ankara forever. Done every job that we've got. But we're not allowed any other coaches, any other scouts, which is alarming. So there's nothing we can... Can we, ha can we have more scouts, please? I'm asking for more scouts. I know I said at the interview I wouldn't need to do all of this. The board are going to be fuming already. You said you were going to make no changes. Yeah, I didn't realise the mess you were in. Do you remember in the interview when I said I needed a little context? This is the context I needed. Oh, here's the guy. This is my guy. What a beard. Yeah, this is the guy. This is my boy. In you come. No, not as a scout. I want you to be my assistant manager. Full-time assistant manager. Lock that in. Assistant manager. Oh, God. Yeah, we're not going to be able to afford him, are we? 
Oh, we don't have anyone on our favourite personnel list to offer the job to. I need an assistant manager before my first game or I'm going to have to pick my own team. And I don't want to. I'm going to resign. I refuse to pick my own team. Oh, somebody come in and do this job. I don't care which one it is. You, come here. Assistant manager. I mean, you're not going to take the job, are you? Because you're going to immediately want to double your salary. I'm not earning that much. My director of football hopefully will bring somebody in. That's all I can hope for now. That my director of football will just get somebody in quick for me. So let's try that. Because applicants aren't going to be in, in four days in time for this first match. I mean, it's pretty clear where the problems are. We need a striker and a goalkeeper. But we can't do anything until the middle of January. So just have to see what we can do. This guy is upset because we don't have squad depth. I, I say again, Haroon, what do you want what do you want me to do about it now? What what do you expect me to do? Squad dynamics. So he is actually our team leader as well, the guy that's got a grumpy on. Let's introduce myself to the squad. Hi! I'm the new manager. Welcome. I hope as a team we can go on to achieve great things under your management. Haroon, you and me are going to be best buddies. Um, so we're going to avoid relegation. We can stay up. See, Haroon gets it. Haroon's on my on my side. Um, oh, God, no, no promises. Go back. No. Oh, I, I just want to run out the door. I don't want to make any... How have I got myself into... I don't want to do a promise. Can I storm out? Ah. Uh... Oh, Haroon, what have you done to me? I'll try and improve the quality of the first team coaching staff at the club. That's literally what I'm doing. Yes, there you go. I'm not sure that will really change anything. Ilke, at the moment, there are no coaches. I feel like it will change something. There we go. Sorted. Goodness me. I'm not allowed it. I mean, <laughs> I'm not allowed more scouts. Just to confirm, what that actually means is I'm not allowed any scouts. I've got 100k for scouting. You what? Where? What the hell is that for? Good eye. What? Let me adjust it. It won't let me adjust it. Can we? I mean, we're not even going to spend it. Adjust scouting budget. It won't let me adjust it. Brilliant. <laughs> Need to sell someone to get out of negative debt. It's five pounds. I'll give them it. So we're playing Essendler Eroxpor. Here we go, boys and girls. Let's have a look at this team then. So, Taha Sengis. And do sweeper keeper, so we're going to get him to do sweeper keeper because we're fancy. We are proper fancy. Sweeper keeper on defend. Why not? Ender is. I mean, he can do wing back. Wing back. In fact, let's start here. What are these guys? So he's a right foot. Oh, hello. A right footer. Are you a left footer? No. That would have been too perfect. So you. Who's the quickest? You're going to be my attacking guy as a winger. You're going to be on support, so you're going to be a wing back on attack. And you, even if you don't like it, oh, you're a complete wing back. Oh, you special boy. Right, change everything around. Complete wing back on attack. You're going to be a winger on support. You're going to go to inside full. Okay, inverted winger on attack. In fact, we might give him the fancy new Bukayo Saka. Player instruction, um, which I can't remember how to get onto player instructions. I do it so infrequently. Um, it's him, so we're going to have him doing the come inside with the ball onto his right foot. So he's a winger, but he's going to come inside. Slightly different from an inverted winger. And then you are going to be a wing back on support. That works. You are a central defender, and you are a central defender. And then you, as my striker, want to be a pressing forward. That makes me happy. I love a pressing forward. 
So you can be a pressing forward. You, what the hell is an Angonchi? I don't even know what that is. I'm going to come back to you in a minute. He looks so miserable. Right, you are a ball-winning midfielder. That's what I like to see. Ball-winning midfielder on defend. You are a deep-lying playmaker. Very fancy for this level. So you are just going to be an attacking midfielder because we don't want to get too fancy. What is an Enganch? The side's prime creator. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. So that looks like our shape. Obviously, we're going to go to positive because we're not cowards. Let's see if it works, I guess. Of course, we've got rules. So we're not allowed any players on youth. Bearing in mind, it's so focused on youth. We're not allowed any players on youth contracts in the first team squad, in the match day squad. Minimum of two players under the age of 23. But no youth players. So in order for us to try a player out in the team, we have to give them an actual full-time contract, which seems insane. What a weird combination of rules that is. Of course, I've got no assistant manager. Um, oh, I hate having to read all this. I want to see a marked improvement from all of you today. There we go. Oh, there's a lot here. Oh, look at this. Playing the ball around beautifully. I love the fact... It's a long time since I've managed this low down in a pyramid. I love to see the fans that all hate each other so no one sits next to anyone else. They're all just beautifully spread out. That's my favourite thing about managing at this kind of level. Come on, then. Kev can do football. Come on! What a hero. <laughs> Social distancing. I mean, there's nobody in these stands. That's madness. Who can score our goals? What's his name? Mukat. Mukat can. Who's going to get us out of this league? Mukat can. They've just taken the suggested one. Oh, Haroon, what have you just done? Can we get a replay of that? It all got a little bit too much for Haroon there. Uh, we're just going to go back 10 seconds. Poor old Haroon. All eyes on Haroon here. This is what you get for questioning me. Here he is, look. And, oh no, I've had enough. Down I go. Oh, Haroon. Haroon, Haroon, Haroon. Right, come on then. Bata, Batuhan Sua. I'm learning their names. Right, here we go. We're going to grab a bit of a goal here. Who can? Mukat can. Oh, come on, we've got a hero. He'd only scored four goals all year. He's had two today. We'll see. Maybe we'll fall in love with them and have to go. Oh, it's not impossible. It's just very unlikely. Here you go. Who can get a hat trick? Mookat can. Come on. Match day vlog for one and a half K Twitch subs. Match day, match day vlog for 5,000 Twitch subs. If we hit 5,000 Twitch subs while still managing Ankara, then I will do my very best to be given permission to go. I suspect the answer will still be no. Does there need to be an end goal? Can we not just have a nice time? Can we not just do a nice, fun football manager save and enjoy the journey? Does it have to be about the destination? I'm sure a target, a goal will emerge as time goes on. But for now, it's very much enjoy our time here in Turkey. We might stay here forever. We might be gone at the end of the season. It might be somewhere in between. We'll see. These fans turn up through thick and thin. There was like nine of them at the last match. Um, if you carry on your last performance into this match, we'll do well. Taha loves that. He's motivated. No one else is. We'll be fine. Come on, then. Do a football, boys. Look at this, just knocking the ball around. Look, there's loads of people here. None of them sat next to each other again. But there are people here. I hope that's one of the things they fix on FM25. Actually have people grouping together and sitting with each other. Because it's so weird that everyone here apparently came on their own and doesn't want to sit near anybody else. Just in case a song breaks out. We've got a penalty kick here. Who can score it? Mukat. Mukat's not taking it. He scored a penalty in the last game. He should be our penalty taker. Who the hell is this guy? Okay, I'll allow it. Who is he? He's our left winger. Oh, no, Mustafa is the right wing. Oh, God, this is going to get so complicated. Oh, it's going to get complicated. I need to learn their names quick. 
At least we're winning, eh? Now we've given away a penalty. Haroon, me and you are going to fall out. Goodness me. Look at the goalkeeper really thrusting there. Is that necessary? Didn't, didn't really work. Kick him. Oh, God. They're in behind again. Oh, this is this is a bit more like what I was expecting. That first game was a was a blip. Just looks similar. It all looks the same in Turkey, apparently. Here we go. Let's test our set of pieces. We're doing the the rare outswinger to the near post. Haroon loves me. I knew he loved me. Come on, Haroon. He sat down again. He he can't stay on his feet. That boy. All right, Mustafa's picked up an injury. He already scored a penalty. And now he's scored a free kick as well. Oh, Mustafa. What a man. He only needs one leg. That's a lovely free kick. We're going to do another. It's Haroon. Haroon from the free kick. Now, we've already scored one free kick today. Haroon's already scored today. Come on, then. We do free kicks. Ah! Don't let our good run of form come to an end here. Yeah. Justifying the 48 pounds. Because again, if it was for personal reasons, if it was for personal use, even if it fit me, I wouldn't spend 48 pounds on a Tamworth shirt. The only reason I own it is so I can have one behind me in the videos. Yeah. And as I've said many times, business expense does not mean free. I still have to actually pay for it. I wouldn't get it just for that. It runs to a point but it's not really made for it. What they need to do, and they won't, but what they need to do is bring back FM Touch or make FM Console available on Steam as well so you can have the console controls on the Steam Deck because it's horrible to control. Anything gaming-related I buy is a business expense because I host a gaming podcast. Long throw incoming. We've won a penalty. <gasps> Umut's hurt himself. But we've got a penalty to potentially equalise here, boys and girls. Boom. That's how we do it. Mustafa. You have the console version of Microsoft Game Pass. Yeah, but to play Microsoft Game Pass on the Steam Deck involves a lot of sideloading confusion. Yeah, got, got, uh, got some dinner. That, that wasn't a business expense. Because I wasn't travelling. Yesterday's dinner was a business expense. But today's dinner wasn't. And we've given away a penalty. Set pieces seem rife. What supermarket do I shop at? Oh, he's hit the post! Excellent work. Have we? I thought we'd given away another penalty there. Um, I sometimes go to Tesco. I sometimes go to Sainsbury's. That's a sundry. You can charge that as it's during work hours. I mean, I have spoken to my accountant about that. And he said, I can only charge food if I'm traveling. If I'm at home, I can't charge food. That's unfortunate. How did I not see that news report? Why is it with you people in your eyes? When did... I didn't even see that happen. Because it's come up as Sign's new deal. He was already our under-19s manager. That's why we've just promoted our own under-19s manager. Oh, why are the under-19s hiring all the stuff that I want? And then I can't bring them up to the first team squad. Fucking I need them. Stenskin, get in here. Hire me, staff. Nobody's applying. For goodness sake. Right, we've now lost two in a row. We're not going to get too worried about it because we did win two in a row. 99 people turned up for us to play against the top of the table team. We've now got nearly a month off. And I think the transfer window opens before the next game. Is that right? When is the transfer window? Transfer window opens on the 11th. So we need to get some scouting done. We don't have any scouts. Let's just... I guess free transfers and loans is what we need to be looking at. Get them scouted. So why do we have just this random three weeks off in the middle of the season? Does it get cold in the winter in Turkey? 
I feel like Turkey's a place where it's quite warm all year round. Oh, in game. I get you. I see what you've done there. I see. Right. So we've everyone who wanted better coaching staff is happy. Haroon still wants me to sign a striker. So I guess we need to sign a striker. That's top priority. <laughs> who can fix the, the budget situation? Moo Cat can. We can't move the scouting budget until the until we're back in a positive um uh budget for transfers. Transfer budget, I think they call it. Yeah, until that's not negative, we can't adjust any budgets. Lovely football manager things. Right. Contract renewal time. Yes, he's good. Right. We don't want to be giving pay rises out here. We've got to be careful. See, that is almost doubling his salary. That doesn't feel like something I want to do. We'll meet him somewhere in the middle, probably. £75 a week pay, wage rise. I mean, he is probably our, one of our best players. But we don't want to do too much of that. Can we set for release the ones who are already not good enough? We can. So that will free up budget as well. Putting players on set for release. Um, so everyone who's not good enough, we set for release. Because that will give us a little bit of future budget to play with. Which is always welcome. Right, so, yeah, we've now got loads of committed spending space. We've got a £1,000 a week spare there. So we should hopefully be able to do some shenanigans. Which is always fun. Burak Kolak. Another 30-year-old fringe player. Yeah, get rid of him. We don't need 30-year-old fringe players. The more then we can get rid of, the better. Very nearly window open. I'm very excited. Right, homegrown player update. Don't need to worry. Oh! Ah! For a minute there, I was happy. Then I realised it was the under-19s again. And we've got a lovely coaching setup now. <laughs> I will hydrate. Oh, my word. Just letting him... See, the thing is, I say he's good, but he's got two and a half stars of current ability. And they're offering money, so it'll free up budgets. So actually, I think I'm going to let him go. He can be the one we sacrifice in order to get our budgets back in order. Which is risky. But we need to free up those budgets and be able to have a little play. We love a little play. So we've got so many players on the way out. It is time for trialists. Where's my director of football? Give me trialists. We want them all. Everyone who can come in on trial will come in on trial. Not allowed an attacking midfielder or a left winger. We are allowed a right winger who can also play right back and left wing. He wasn't identified for any of them. You just told me there were no right backs and no left wingers available for trial. This... Seskin, we are going to fall out the moat. How many days have I got to put up with you for now? 142. I'm counting them. I'm chalking them off, Seskin. You are, you're on my last nerve. Goodness me. All right, in you all come. Please all be great. I could really do with some great players coming in. Oh, dear. Hmm. Oh, dear. Yep, this is a problem. This is a big problem. Because I've just agreed to let go most of the squad. None of them are as good as the four players we've already agreed to sell. It's going to be fine. <laughs> oh no what's happened there mistakes have been made there boys and girls right on the 11th the loan window opens no fitness coaches for me we've hired one zoe a how did you end up in turkey zoe johnson b why can the under 19s find coaches what's happened there oh Right, Mustafa, you're being sacrificed to save the wage budget. This is a huge risk because you are a starter. Right, budget done, which means we should now be able to boom, which means we should be able to boom, which means now we've got loads of budget available. Sorry, I didn't mean to upset you. I didn't mean to shout. 
But thank, I mean, I don't know how to say this. That's the one co That's the one type of coach we don't really need anymore because we've already got one. And when we're only allowed three coaches, oh, have we got one? I thought we had a goalkeeping coach. Maybe we don't. Okay, so maybe we do need a goalkeeping coach. What have we got then? We've got a man. Is the assistant manager the only coach we've got? Right, well, then we'll take a goalkeeping coach. Sorry, I'm sorry. Oh, that was very simple. Can we have... Is there any chance for some more co... Just general coaches, Zoe. Just a general one. Would be lovely. That was that was excellent. See, all I needed to do was make friends with Zoe. And now we're all good. Okay, we've only got a squad of 18 players. We've got so much money to throw around. And we should now be able to get all of these players we've been scouting who can come in on loan. So, come on, loans. In you come. Yeah, do you want to come in on loan, Effie? Oh, he's free. And we're allowed as many of these as we want. <laughs> it's just going to be a team of loans and nothing else. <laughs> I hope they all come in. This is going to be amazing. God, he wants a lot of money. We've got a lot of money, though. Come in. Come on in, young man. I think it's seven loans only. It wasn't when we looked at the rules. We'll check again, just to be sure. The only rule around loans and seven, maximum of seven foreign-based players over the age of twenty over the age of twenty-two allowed on loan. So it only applies if they're foreign and over twenty-two. Otherwise, there's no limit. I mean, I won't object to another striker. So in you come. Just, I mean, if they're if they are literally free, just bring them all in. It doesn't matter. At least everyone who's scouting at over like three stars, maybe not the thirty-one-year-old. But everyone else, just get them in. They're costing nothing. Right. There's lots of other clubs in for the players we've loaned for. So that's probably the catch, isn't it? That name is very familiar. I knew it! <laughs> well, we've got to sign him! I knew I recognised that name! Well, yeah. We'll have a piece of this. How do we, why do, why do we know about you? Yeah, we'll buy you. Just, we want you. Just buy him. Ah, real coaches. Right, what do we need? We've only got room for one if we bring the goalkeeping coach in. We need, I guess we need defending slightly more than attacking. We'd also like someone who can do men and mudjum. So... I think, I mean, you're probably more of a general coach. You can do a little bit of everything. Let's get you in. It's all coming together, boys and girls. And now even Seskin's getting involved in the loans. He's spotted what I'm up to and wants a, wants a piece of the action. He's identified a 19-year-old with a 5.9 average rating and thinks I want him. Come on, Sir Hat Tazdemir, former Peterborough United player. You can get whatever salary you want, young man. So I did not think I would be signing a former posh player when I arrived in Turkey. I want to see at least some of these loans arrive. Suddenly, all the staff are coming in as well. Who's this? Goalkeeping. Oh, that's the guy I wanted. Right, so we've got the goalkeeping coach in. So we're good at coaching goalkeepers now. Right, and here's the striker. This should, this should make Haroon happy. Because this is what... Oh. I don't think we're scouting. I don't think they're as good as my scouts are indicating they might be. Maybe it wasn't this simple. Nope. <laughs> ah, I see. Right, let's get them all in. Get them all in. Hopefully some of them are any good. Ah, you know what? He's not bad, is he? That's an upgrade on what we had before. Has that made him happy? Nope. I mean, I don't know what more I can do here. Does he need someone to come in permanently? A loan's not enough. Awful. So they are very hit and miss, it seems. Almost as if we've got no scouts. 
So it's all a bit hit and miss. Right, Sir Tazdemir's coming in, but not until the summer. Which is a bit of a shame, so I wanted him now. But he'll be a little present in the summer if we stay up. If not, I've condemned him to life in the unplayable leagues and I'll be long gone. But we've brought some players in. and Bringing some players in is good. So, to summarise, we've arrived in Turkey, we've played four games, we've won two, we've lost two, we're still in the relegation zone, but only three points from safety. We're all good there. We do need to get out of the relegation zone, because not only have we promised the board we will, but the league below this one is non-playable. So if we get relegated, it's an auto-sacking. The transfer window is now open, we've got money to spend, and in tomorrow night's stream, we will win a load of matches, sign a load of players... And have success. Success is good. 